If you clicked on this video, I am assuming that somewhere you too resonate with this topic. Somewhere you do acknowledge internally that life can get super complex and overwhelming. Well, I hear you and I am myself on the journey to demystify life as much as possible. And hence today I want to talk about an important topic and that is how to simplify life. That's right, what are some decisions that we can start making today to make sure that our life is much more simple, happier and stress-free. I've split today's video into four of my learnings that I have started adapting in my own life to keep it as simple as possible. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Snehal Pachigar and you're watching It's Not That Complicated. I'm on the journey to understand life from a much simpler lens. So if you want to explore this journey with me, please do consider subscribing. Now, if you are truly serious about simplifying our life, the first important step that we need to take is to start being a minimalist or an essentialist. Now, minimalism by definition means living with less. But if you look at it in its true form, it is nothing but focusing on something that we really value rather than consuming and maintaining stuff that we don't really use or need. Some people also like to call it as essentialism, spending our time, money and energy on things that are truly essential to us. It is extremely important to be intentional about the things that we are buying into our lives. If you ask me personally, I have a simple closet. I have a simple room. If I don't need 20 different types of shoes on a regular basis, I just don't buy it. If I'm comfortable wearing that same t-shirt or shirt multiple times, then I just wear it. Now here's a secret that I have realized and that is people are really self-obsessed and they don't give a damn about you. They don't even remember what you wore yesterday or even two hours ago. We are the ones who are more self-conscious about small little things like these. No one is really thinking how I'm portraying myself in front of them. And that is the fact. The more stuff I have, the more I have to maintain it. And the more I have to maintain it, the more it consumes my own energy. I would rather spend that energy on doing something creative. For me, there is nothing more irritating than a physical and a mental clutter. I just cannot take it. The less stuff I have around both in my physical and mental space, the more stress-free I personally feel. Now, the second learning of mine that I personally found it extremely difficult but once I started adapting it has hugely benefited me and that is it is okay to say no. Personally I am such a people pleaser that I just cannot say no be it my friends, my co-workers or sometimes even my own self. There are times when I feel if I don't say yes. I might miss out on something or FOMO as many people would like to call it. And there are times when I just sign up for tasks just for the mere excitement in that given moment. The dopamine release of imagining that task to be done and the happiness that is associated with just thinking about it. But as fancy as all of this sounds, one thing that I have realized is that this trait of mine has hurt me more than doing good to me. I'm just adding more and more responsibilities on my shoulders. I'm just growing my to-do list and tasks that needs to be completed for that given day, week or month. That pile of tasks are subconsciously just going to stay in my mind day after day and I won't even realize why I'm feeling overwhelmed for that given day. So I have started asking this question to myself, do I really have to do it? And also, do I have the capacity to take that new task onto my list for today? If not, then it is okay to say no. Just say no. That's it. Now, the third thing that I have started adapting is to invest in anything that saves my time. We have three limited resources in our lives. One is time another is money and the third one is energy now out of the three if i have to pick out one important resource i will say that will be time for me back in the day i would give a lot of importance to money i would compromise on a longer work commute for saving some money on rent or i would wait for that perfect deal that will save me like hundred dollars on a bed 
but I would sleep uncomfortably for months. The amount of time I kept spending on saving that money not only sucked away my energy but it brought in a lot of stress and anxiety in my own life. Now don't get me wrong, money is important and it is important to save and manage your finances but not at the cost of the time in your life and mental stress. Now I would commute less but rather spend that one hour more focused on work and improve my performance ratings. I would rather prioritize comfort and convenience over money, thereby saving my time as well as energy. I would take a judgment call sooner and move on in spending that time on something that provides me value and brings happiness. Which brings me to the last learning to simplify life and that is to slow down. It is so important to remind this to myself again and again that it is completely okay to slow down. Life is not a rat race. I don't have to answer anyone. I don't have to impress anyone. I can take a pause. I can take a break. I have missed deadlines in past and if I look at it now, it has not made a significant difference in how my life is right now. It is completely okay to go easy on that gym routine. It is okay not to come first always. It is okay not to do things if we don't have to, right? Yes, I would love to be more disciplined in life, but not by beating myself up for it. Hence, I have started spending more and more time with myself, more time learning and most importantly, more time experiencing every single thing that is happening around me. Now, I just know one thing that at the end, we are the painters of our own lives. We can decide to make it as complex as we want or we can decide to keep it as simple to the point where it is beautiful and happy for us. Why bring that unnecessary stress and burden on our shoulders when we can choose to bring much more beautiful things in life?